Hello guys, welcome to another episode. If you're new here, my name is Agnes and you're welcome. Uh, today I'll be showing you how I made this cardigan. I used the alpine stitch. I've used it before in a sweater and matching shorts. So if you haven't watched those videos, I will leave the links in the description box. It is easy to make. It is, uh, I think it is appropriate for this cold weather that is around the corner and yeah, I made it in a size small. However, that story is measurement based so you can adjust, your, adjust, adjust it to your size. So yeah, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so for that more than 10,000 of you that have subscribed. I appreciate you so much and leave the, give this video a thumbs up. Uh, so let's get into it. So for this tutorial, you'll need a tape measure, you'll need scissors, uh, a 5.0 millimeter hook. Uh, you will need, of course, yarn. I used thin yarn. Uh, it's acrylic yarn. It's a brand seagull, 50 grams per ball. I'll be doubling the strand since this is thin yarn just to have a, a weight of a medium weight yarn size three or size four you can use any of that so i use 12 balls of this so this is how the setter looks like we'll work uh, the back part first so we'll do this back part first and once we get to the top when we have the length that we want for the back uh, we will then divide it uh, right there at the top and work one side uh, leave five inches in between and then work on the other side too uh, and then we'll work on the sleeves uh, do the ribbing for the sleeves and once we are done with the sleeves attach them and then we'll work on this bottom ribbing and then the that other ribbing and then we'll be done okay so to start, uh, we'll make a foundation chain and I made a foundation chain equivalent to my uh, shoulder measurements, which were 15 inches long. Okay, so take your uh, shoulder measurements and make a chain that is as long as your shoulder measurements, of course, without stretching it. So I did a total of 54 chains plus one chain. So that's 55 chains and it is 15 inches long. Okay. So 55 chains and we are now going to do our first row of single crochets. So skip that very first stitch chain, sorry, and make a single crochet in the next chain like that so go into the next chain uh, make a single crochet and this row is going to be a row of single crochet so you are going to go and put a single crochet in every chain until you get to the end of the row and i'll meet you once you're at the end So I'm coming to the end of that first row and that is my last single crochet in that very last uh, uh, chain. So the next row is going to be a row of double crochets. So chain two, turn your work, yarn over and in that very first stitch insert a double crochet. So that is how you do a double crochet. Yarn over in the second stitch, insert your hook and make a second double crochet. Go into your next stitch and make a double crochet and we are going to work with double crochets for this second row. So go ahead and do a row of double crochets and I'll meet you at the end. 
I'm at the end of the second row and in that very last stitch insert a double crochet. So for row three we'll do a, a row of single crochets. So chain one, turn your work and in that very first stitch insert a single crochet like that and then the next stitch a single crochet and you will do single crochets in every stitch until you get to the end so we are going to be alternating these rows of single crochets and uh, double crochets okay so do that and i'll meet you at the end of this third row yes i'm at the end of the third row and uh, that looks like my last stitch i'll put a single crochet but then on top of that chain two you see right there please remember to always insert a single crochet in that uh, stitch on top of the chain two always always remember to insert a single crochet otherwise your line will not be straight okay at the end of every single crochet row insert a single crochet in that stitch so chain two turn your work we are now going to work on on fourth row so we are going to skip that very first stitch okay that is on top of the chain two and go into the next stitch and under it make a front post so you on stitch two under it go under it and make a front post like that okay that is how it looks okay so for the next stitch you are going to make a normal double crochet okay like that okay so we have the front post and then the normal double crochet so the next stitch will be a front post so you simply go into row two go under that uh, double crochet make a front post okay like that so for the next stitch will be a normal double crochet and that goes on row three okay so we are alternating between row two for the front post and uh, double crochet we do it on row three okay so the next now will be a double crochet which will be on top of row three and then the next will be a front post which will go back to row two you just go under it with your hook under the double crochet with your hook to make a front post just like that and for this row you'll be alternating the stitches like that so it's a front post and then uh, okay let me remove the light and i think this is clearer so for the front post you go under the double crochet like that and complete your double crochet and then for the normal double crochet you just go into that on top of that single crochet and make you know a double crochet okay so do that and i'll meet you once you're done with this row so i'm coming to the end of the row okay so now i have my front post and then my last stitch will be a, a double crochet stitch in that very last stitch okay so now the next one is a single crochet row so you chain one turn your work and in that very first stitch you insert a single crochet this is unlike the uh, double crochet row where we had to skip that very first stitch so it is different for the single crochet row you insert a single crochet in that very first stitch while for the double crochet row you have to skip the first stitch so i'm coming to the end of that row and uh, insert a single crochet in that last stitch and on top of chain two make sure you insert a single crochet so that is another difference okay so after at the end of every single crochet row insert a single crochet on top of that chain two so chain two turn your work and we are now going to work on the double crochet row okay 
So you're going to skip that very first stitch and then now where there was a front post we are going to work uh, a normal double crochet. So skip that very first uh, stitch and put a double crochet on top of that front post like that. Okay. So where we had a normal double crochet, now you're going to go into that row and make a front post under that normal double crochet that we had, like that. So the next now where we have a front post, you will make a, a double crochet. And where we had a double crochet, you will make a front post. So now you're alternating. So where we had a front post, make a double crochet like that. Next stitch will be a front, a front post. Okay, so this is how it looks when there's no light, uh, it's more clear. So next will be a double crochet. And where we had a double crochet, you go just under that double crochet and make a front post just like that and this is going to be our pattern from now on so we'll be alternating these rows of single crochets and double crochets like that until we have our desired length Okay, so we are coming to the end of that row and I need to show you something here. Uh, so now we have our front post. And then the next stitch is a, a double crochet. But you see now the, the last stitch which should have been a front post, we cannot do a front post because it is the last stitch. So what we'll do is just put a, a double crochet like that. So we'll have two double crochets at the end for that row. Okay. So that is how the pattern will go. Chain one, turn your work and insert a single crochet in that first chain and in all the chains. So you are going to repeat these rows until you have your desired length. That is from the bottom until your shoulder uh, part. Okay, and I'll meet you once you are done. So yeah, so I've, I've, I've acquired the length that I wanted. I did about 72 uh, rows and this uh, equivalent of 25 inches. So yeah, that is the length I wanted because you know, take in account that we do the ribbing. Okay, so now we're going to work on the front part. So when you measure this, the width is now about 16 inches. Remember we had chain 15 uh, ch uh, inches of chain, but after you work it, you are at least gain about an inch uh, more. So 16, 16, and we need to leave that uh, the, the middle part, five inches of the middle part. So in between the left and the right side, we have five inches in between. So when you take 16 minus five, you have 11. When you divide 11 by those two parts, so each part will be five and a half. So that's what I just measured there, the right part five and a half. Then here we have the five inches and the other part should be five and a half inches too, okay? So the middle part is five inches. So five and a half on this side and five and a half on that side. So you are now going to chain one. My last row was a double crochet. So now we're going to a single crochet row, turn your work. And where you had put a stitch marker is where we will stop five and a half inches. So that's one, two, three,
So we are approaching the stitch marker where we had our stitch marker. Okay, where I pulled out the yarn and that will be our last stitch. So yeah, now that is on that one part. So chain two, turn your work. So we are going to work on one part first until the bottom and then we'll come for the other side. So you skip that very first stitch like we were doing before. So the next stitch you'll do a double crochet since below we had a front post. So next will be a front post, a double crochet, front post and it is basically the same uh, pattern only that now you have a few stitches. Okay, so do that and I'll see you once you are done with the same length, okay? So in case you have difficulty with counting the rows like I always do with this stitch, I just count the back part which is the ridges and in this case I had a total of 36 ridges, those, you know, you... You will see them. So I had a total of 36. So once you do this right part, it should be also a total of 36 ridges so that you have the same uh, measurements. Okay, I'll see you once you're done. So yes, I'm done with this side. I had uh, 36 ridges just like we did with the back part and this is how it looks like, same length. Uh, yeah, so we are now going to work on this other side. So in between, you leave five inches, okay? So five inches of space in between those two sides. So you are going to do the same number of stitches like you did for the other side. So you'll have to count. Please note that on top of this chain two, that counts as a stitch. Okay, so count that two. And uh, yeah, you will reattach your yarn. So reattach your yarn. Uh, chain one and in that very first stitch insert a single crochet okay so you are going to insert single crochets until the end so you already know the pattern when you get to the end you chain two you turn your work and work a row of double crochets get to the end like that so it's the same pattern and you're going to do that um until you have the same length as the other part and the back part okay Okay, so guys, I'm done. I'm done with uh, this whole part. And uh, yeah, this is how it looks. It actually looks really, the color pops in natural light. I normally shoot at night and this is during the day and it looks nice. Okay, so we are going to work on the sleeves. I already have worked one of the sleeves. This is how it looks like. And I'm going to show you how I did this, okay? So yeah, uh, you are going to make a foundation chain. So make a slip knot. And uh, for my arm size, I chained 45 chains. Okay, so if you have a much bigger arm, you could, you know, chain more. Okay, so that's 45 chains. It is up to you. You can add to make it bigger or you can make it tight depending on your preference. So it is going to be the same pattern. So skip the first stitch and go into the very next stitch and make a single crochet. So this row is going to be a row of single crochets just like we 
did when we were starting with the back part. So it is the same pattern. So do single crochets until you get to the end of the row. At the end of the row, and now we're going to row two. So you are going to chain two, turn your work, and then that very, very first stitch, you will insert a double crochet. So that's our double crochet. And the next stitch is a double crochet. So we are working the row of double crochets until the end. And I'll meet you at the end of the row. Uh, come to the end of the, the double crochet row, insert a very double crochet in the last stitch like that. Then chain one, turn your work, and in that very first stitch, insert a single crochet. So work this row of single crochets until you get to the end. At the end of uh, that row, so insert a single crochet and remember to put a single crochet on top of that chain two. Always remember that. So go on top of that chain two and insert a single crochet. Okay, so you're going to chain two, turn your work and we're going to work the double crochet row. So skip that very first stitch. And in the next stitch, go under that first double crochet and make a front post that is on row two. So the next stitch, go to row three and make a double crochet on top of that, you know, stitch. So the next one will be a front post. You already worked with this pattern, so you are familiar with it. So next is a double crochet. And next is a front post. So continue to do that pattern until you get to the end of the row. So I'm at the end of the row and uh, my next chain should be a front post. However, we cannot put a front post in that very last stitch. So we will put a double crochet. So at the end we have two double crochets like that okay so you chain one turn your work and we work a row of single crochets okay so you're going to work single crochets and you're going to repeat this pattern until you have your you know desired uh, sleeve length so I'm done and this is how it looks like. Uh, I have 16 inches long of a sleeve. Okay, uh, let's see how many ridges this is. One, two, three. Okay, one, two, three, four. Twenty-four, and uh, my last uh, row is a row of single crochets. Okay, so we are now going to work on the ribbing. So I'll chain a little twelve, twelve stitches, twelve chains. Sorry. So once you get to the end, skip that very first stitch and insert a single crochet in the next stitch. Work single crochets till you get to the top. OK, 
Okay, so um uh, oops I'm holding this the wrong <laughs> the wrong direction. <laughs> okay, I need to put in the last stitch that is right there. Okay, got it. So we are going to skip that very first stitch and make a slip stitch in the next stitch on top of that double crochet. Okay. Okay, so that's it. And then we are going to make slip stitches in the next two stitches like that. So our last stitch is a double crochet, okay? That's where we made our last uh, slip stitch. So you're going to turn your work. And you see here we have three, st three st slip stitches. Uh, let me show you. Oops. One, two, three. So we are going to skip those three slip stitches and insert a single crochet in the back loop of that very first uh, stitch that is on top of the single crochet okay so you skipped all the slip stitches and you will work single crochets in the back loop starting from the fourth you know stitch which is right above the first single crochet so you will work downwards until you have a total of 12 stitches so um, at the end that's my last 12th stitch single crochet so chain one and in that very first stitch in the back loop insert a single crochet so we're only working in the back loop and you're going to work up until you have a total of 12 single crochets only in the back loop Okay, so for this part, we are going to start reducing the stitches, okay? So our last stitch was on top on that double crochet, right? That's why we had our last slip stitch. So we're going to decrease uh, this front post and that next stitch, make it into one. So just go under that single crochet and make a slip stitch, okay? So we've joined those two together. So our next stitch should now be the front post. So go into that front post and make uh, a slip stitch and then to the next stitch and make a slip stitch so you have two slip stitches right there and the one where we made a reduction so skip those three slip stitches and make a single crochet in the back loop on top of that very last uh, single crochet and work 12 single crochets in the back loop only till the end so I'm at the end that's my last single crochet stitch chain one turn your work and in that very first stitch insert a single crochet and work 12 single crochets until the top only in the back loop Okay, so once you get to the top, you are going to work your last one. And then now the, our last one was a, a double crochet. That's where we had our last one. So now you're going to join this uh, front post and double crochet together. So just go under that and make a slip stitch. And then in that next front post, insert a slip stitch like that. And in the next double crochet, insert a slip stitch so we have three slip stitches in four 
stitches okay i hope that makes sense so now you're going to turn your work and work downwards skip the first three slip stitches and work a single crochet in the back loop on top of that very first single crochet you may pause the video and go back uh, just to see what i was doing so that it is clear so yeah so that uh, you 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 get exactly what I'm doing, okay? So I'm done, and this is how it looks like. That is our ribbing. Uh, you'll go ahead and do the other sleeve, and also do the ribbing. So once you have your two sleeves, we are now going to attach these two okay so this is how it looks like we have the back part and then the front part and now in the middle right there the shoulder so i've divided the sleeve into two that's 22 on the other side and 22 on this side okay 22 stitches so this I, 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 I pulled out my yarn so that I know where it is. You can put a stitch marker. So this is where the middle of the shoulder. That's exactly where our shoulder is. Okay, so you will align that with a sleeve. Okay, and we are working now on the wrong part. You see they're all facing the wrong side. The right side is, you know, at the back. Okay, so we are going to attach the sleeves to the this part of the cardigan. So we have the back part, the front part uh right there where we have our stitch marker is the middle okay and that's where the shoulder part is uh, okay so that is almost 10 uh, 10 ridges and that is where i'm going to at reattach my yarn So reattach the yarn and we are going to use single crochets to join these two. So it is facing the wrong side because we want this uh, seem to be, you know, be, uh, beneath, not on top. So reattach your yarn and in every stitch you are going to insert a, a single crochet. So go into every stitch at the front and at the back just to join these two parts together, the sleeves to the uh, the body. Uh, and yeah, make a single crochet in every stitch. If you have a smaller hook, I would recommend you use a smaller hook, maybe a four millimeter hook or 3.5 for this joining part so you can use a yarn needle if you have one too so do that until you get to the other end once you're done attach the other sleeve too and this is how it looks like this is on the inside so when you turn it on the right side and that is how it looks like okay Okay, I'll go ahead and uh, attach my other sleeve and I'll see you once you're done with your sleeves. So now that we have the sleeves attached, we are going to uh, get everything together, sew it together. So you're going to flip it. Oops, the wrong side. We are working the wrong side. <laughs> so flip it now that we ha we so that we have it defined with the sleeves and then the front part and the back part okay so aligned like that because we are now going to join the sides and the bottom part of the sleeve okay so have that like that aligned Okay, that's our sleeve. And we are going to use, of course, a single crochet. If you have a yarn needle, you can use your yarn needle to 
sew this together okay so I'll use my hook and a single crochet so you're going to insert a stitch in every you know stitch or row both at the front and the back just to join the two together So go ahead and do that you'll do along the sleeve join the sleeve once you're done with the sleeve go uh, downwards from the under the arm till the bottom and then you'll also do the other side and once you have everything together sewed together i uh, will see you then okay so this is how it looks like uh, it's already taken form and yeah we are now going to work on the ribbing just for the final touches so we'll do the bottom ribbing first okay so get the last side at the corner uh, this is on the right side i think so reattach your yarn And you're going to make chains one, two, three, four, five. So that's 16 chains. Skip the first one and go into the next and make a single crochet. Go into the next one, make a single crochet, and you're going to work single crochets until you get to the top. So you can make this ribbing, uh, it can be shorter, it can be longer, according to your preference. So I'm at the end, so skip that very first stitch, and into the next stitch, make a slip stitch like that so this is going to be different from what we did before so we are not going to decrease we are just simply going to make a single a slip stitch in that very first one and a slip stitch in the next so our last stitch is a front post okay so we did not make any decreases so you're going to skip the first three uh, slip stitches and in the back loop of that very first single crochet you will make a single crochet so we are working back loop only it's the same thing that we did for the sleeves only that now we are not making any reductions we are only slip stitching in three stitches and not in you know four so by the end it's at your last single crochet chain one turn your work and insert a single crochet insert a single crochet on top of uh, in the back loop of that very first one and work single crochets in the back loop until you get to the top always make sure you count your single crochets so that you don't have an even work so I'm at the end and that's my last stitch okay so our last la uh, slip stitch was in a front post so that means we put a slip stitch in the double crochet so that will be our next stitch so slip stitch in that double crochet and then the next stitch will do a slip stitch and then the next will be a slip stitch and now our last slip stitch is on top of a double crochet so when we come back it will be will slip stitch on top of a front post okay so it is three slip stitches so you're going to skip those three and then in the back loop 
on top of that very first one, uh, single crochet, make a single crochet. And you're going to make single crochets in every back loop until you get to the end. So once you get to the end, you'll chain one, come back up with a, a row, uh, single crochets in the back loop, a slip stitch in the very next stitch, then slip stitch in the next two stitches, turn your work and repeat the same pattern until you get to the end. So yeah, I'm done with my ribbing at the bottom and this is how it looks like. Okay. So we are now going to work on the ribbing uh, on the sides. Okay. So it will be from down here. We'll go all the way up around the shoulder part, a uh, neck part, sorry, around the neck part, then come down like that until we get to the bottom again. Okay. So where we left, we left off at the end, chain one, turn your work, and we are going to work in the back loop, just like we're doing before. So single crochets in the back loop, like that, and I'll see you once you get to, you know, up there. So yeah, so that is where we are now that we're done with the ribbing. So in this very first single crochet row, you are going to insert a single crochet. Then go into the double crochet row. You see right there, insert a single crochet. Then go into the next row, which will be a single crochet row like that. And insert a single crochet. So we're going to work single crochets all the way up in every row. So next is that single crochet, uh, double crochet row. Okay, so the next row will be that single crochet row. Insert a single crochet. Uh, this is more visible, yeah. Okay, so the next row will be a double crochet row. Just go in there in that space and insert a single crochet. Next is a single crochet row and you will insert your single crochet right there. And yeah, that's the pattern. A single crochet in every row. You'll go upwards uh, around the neck area and come, you know, downwards and I'll meet you. So I came all the way down and to the bottom. Here I had a row of chains, so I simply did uh, single crochets because it was hard to do in the back loop. Okay, so that's how it looks like. Uh, now we are going to chain one, turn our work, and you know, repeat the pattern of working in the back loop. So in that very first back loop, insert a single crochet like that and a single crochet in the next uh, back loop and you'll continue to do that all around so you'll go up go to the neck area come down and to the other side okay so it's back loop only and you continue doing that. I did until, you know, I have a total of eight rows. It is up to you. You can make it, you know, bigger or smaller depending on you. I did a total of eight rows for this ribbing. Okay. So I'll see you once you're done. So yeah, guys, this is how it looks like. I hope you like it. Uh, it really, I really love the texture of it. And if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Leave me a comment. And yeah, I will see you in the next video. Bye.